Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Online Sunday School. It is our last week of Online Sunday School. Can you believe it? We've done over a year of Online Sunday School, and this is the last week. It's wild. We have an exciting lesson today from the book of Romans. Our lesson is called Love in Action, and we're going to read about our Bible story in our Bible story book. So, Love in Action, I said it was from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 9 through 18. Paul wrote a letter to people who lived in Rome and followed Jesus. The letter said, show love to each other, respect each other, show your excitement while you serve each other and God. Be happy, stand your ground, and pray often. Share what you have with others and be welcoming to new people. Be nice to all people, even if they aren't nice to you. Be happy with happy people and sad with sad people. Remember that everyone is equal. No one is better than anyone else. Try to always live peacefully with all people. And then here's the pictures. A lot of people, aw. So it looks like this man is sad about something. He has a little tear in his eye and his arms are crossed. Maybe he's mad, I don't know. But all these people are reaching out to him and being nice, maybe bringing him things. That's how Paul said that we should act. What do you think about our Bible lesson today and about this letter from Paul? It had a lot of things in it about how we need to treat each other and show love to one another and love and serve each other and love and serve God. Really sums it up, doesn't it, in this one chapter in Romans. We do have a wonder question today in our Bible storybook. The question is, I wonder, how can you show love to others? What's the way? Did you hear something in this list uh, that Paul wrote out about how to show love that made you think, I'm good at that, or I do that all the time? Um, Think about that. Maybe talk about that with uh, the people who live with you after today's lesson or right now. Um, You can talk about the different ways in which you show and receive love. That would be a great thing to talk about. Okay. Okay. Today's craft for today is a lot of fun. It's really similar to a craft we did a couple weeks ago where we made the glasses. You remember that? This is a really similar lesson, um, and it's on showing love. So we're going to make a heart. You will need a pencil or something to draw with, a pair of scissors, and then a piece of paper. It can be any color or type of paper. Um, I had some pink construction paper, so I picked that to make our heart, but uh, you could pick white and color it or a different kind of color and have a different kind of heart, whatever you want. So we're gonna start out our craft by taking our piece of paper and folding it in half. um, Because we're gonna draw our heart shape from the half part of the half piece of paper, paper folded in half. You get it. (laughs) Okay, so draw your paper in half, or uh, fold your paper in half, and then take your pencil or whatever you have to draw with and draw a heart shape. And we want it to be kind of big because we're gonna do something with it. Um, And you may need to, the reason I like a pencil is so I can do a lot of different tests of a shape because hearts are kind of hard to draw, aren't they? Um, I have a hard time drawing them. So the nice thing about a pencil is you can just go over it and over it until you get the shape that you want. So draw it starting on the folded crease of your paper. Start your heart and go up and around and then down to the corner, okay? Just on one half because we're going to cut it out. Now take your scissors and along, generally along the lines that you have drawn, we're going to cut out our heart shape like so. So we have a big old heart. 
So go ahead and cut out your heart shape. Let's see when you unfold it. Let's see if it looks good. <gasps> Look at that heart. So cut out your heart shape. And you see mine's really big. It's okay if it's really big because we're gonna do something else with it. So get that cut out and then we'll do the next part. Once you have your heart shape cut out, leave it folded and we're gonna do something else to it. So inside your heart shape, draw another heart shape. Leave yourself a little, so I'm starting to draw a little below and I'm gonna try to keep it even all the way around my heart. And I'll show you when I'm done what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna draw another heart shape outline within the heart shape that I already have. And we'll find out why when we're done. So, see how I've drawn an outline and it's kinda even sort of all the way around? So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut it out. So get your heart shape drawn and then we'll cut out the second piece of our heart, okay? All right, take your scissors and uh, cut out along your outline. Okay, this is very exciting because now we technically have two heart shapes. We have our little smaller heart shape, which you can decorate if you want, and you can put it on your mirror or your fridge or something, or give to someone that you love, but we're actually done with this piece for the rest of our craft, so this is just yours to do with what you want. This is the piece that we're going to use. Look how pretty. Actually, it would be really pretty to put this together and have like a 3D heart, wouldn't it? That'd be cool. But we're not gonna do that. So with this piece, we get to do a little activity. So today's lesson is all about um, what? What was today's lesson about? It was about Paul's letter from Romans about how we can show love to one another, right? And our Bible story today reminds us of the importance of love. Um, love is really essential for showing people that we care about them and uh, for showing people that God cares about them and for living how Jesus lived and how Jesus set an example. Love is just how we need to live our lives. Uh, the thing that we need the most is to be loving and kind and caring to other people. So love is really important. It's how we need to see the world. So with that in mind, we can take our heart and we can look through it like we used our glasses a couple weeks ago. We can look through our big heart and we can see people through love. So this is a real <laughs> uh, interactive kind of craft. All right, so let's hold up our hearts together and look through them and you repeat after me, okay? I'm gonna say, I see love all around me and you can repeat, I see love all around me. And then I say, love is in you. And you repeat, love is in you. And love is in me. And then you repeat that. I see love all around me. Love is in you and love is in me. And after today's lesson is over with, you can take your heart around the place where you live and show it to the people who live with you. And you can hold it up to your face or their face and tell them the love that you see in them and ask it, them if they see love in you. And uh, hopefully the answer will be yes, right? Um, and that's a way that we can practice showing love to one another and remember today's lesson about how important it is that we love each other and care for everybody and treat each other equally. Um, all that, all the nice things we can ever do for someone are filtered through love. We can't do anything good for anyone else without love. So that's where it starts. It's the most important thing. 
So that was today's lesson on showing love and love in action from the book of Romans. And that wraps up the New Testament for now. So as I mentioned at the beginning of our lesson today, this was our last online Sunday school class. Can you believe it? We have done almost a year and a half of this and it's just been wonderful and I've really enjoyed doing this with you guys. Um, so starting next week, June 6th, we are going back to in-person two services. There will be a traditional service at 9 and then Sunday school in the middle at 10 and then there will be a contemporary service at 11 and um, we'll still be doing our online service stuff for now if your family is not comfortable coming to worship yet that's okay and you can watch the online worship um but we won't be having any more online sunday school this is actually my last sunday as the children's director i can't believe it um it's been a really great time with y'all and i love you guys so much and i'm really excited for everything that's coming up for you guys so uh, next Sunday, they'll have in-person Sunday school. If y'all, if your your family or the people who take you to church um, decide to go to Sunday school, there will be a Sunday school class for you guys, and um, there will be a whole bunch of teachers and people who are who just can't wait to hang out with you and continue telling you all about our Bible lessons that we've been using. We're gonna do the same. Bible storybook and everything, it'll just be in person. So if you want to come to that, um, come on ahead next Sunday. And then if you're not quite ready yet, that is totally understandable. And we'll see you, that everybody will be there uh, waiting for you when and if and when you decide to come, come in person again, okay? Okay, uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for... The past few years and letting me get to know you and be your teacher and uh, do all these awesome things with you. I have just loved it and I love you guys so much and I'm going to see y'all around. So this is not like uh, goodbye forever. I'm definitely going to see y'all around. So I'm just saying goodbye as your children's director and your Sunday school teacher, but I definitely plan on still seeing you. So I'm excited about that and I hope you are too. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for today. Um, have a great weekend and start to your summer and um, there's a lot of stuff coming up and it's going to be, it's going to be so great. So, uh, I'll see y'all around and just have an awesome summer. All right. I love you guys so much and, um, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Bye.